Hello and welcome to another episode of Arts Inspired. Um, today I thought, you know what, I'm going to show you um, how I go about doing my storyboards. Um, this was a, an idea I've had in my mind for a long time to do and uh, it's always been, say, an idea that's just been in my head so it was good to get it out. I don't know how long these episodes are going to be, but depending on whether uh, you like them, I'll, I'll see if I do uh, do more of them. But uh, anyway, for for those of you who might just like to to see these videos on how I go about doing storyboards, maybe my, you you know you've come to learn how to do storyboards, and I think the the best thing really I could say is uh, just go ahead and do them. I mean, I did download a, a course that I have, to be fair, I didn't really go through it. I watched a couple videos. I bought the, the course as well. Um, and I watched a couple of the videos and then uh, decided instead of doing that, I would uh, just do the storyboard and as I came up to little problems little challenges then I'll just address them then and I'll go and you know refer to the videos again and um, because as well as the, you know the information being quite good and you know the person who was teaching the course uh, has worked in uh, Disney for a number of years so it's not like I'm saying they're bad and I don't need them it was just that I felt like if I carry on watching these videos, I'm not actually going to learn anything because I have to remember what did he say again? What did he say again? But I found that if I just go ahead and do them and then use the videos as more of a reference to go back to, to, to answer the challenges I face, like why doesn't this look right and why doesn't this look right? Instead of trying to remember everything all at once, and it's you know sometimes as an artist it's like it's difficult enough as it is to get into the swing of just churning out um, content just um, getting your ideas out from your head onto pe onto a piece of paper you know I think um, I can speak for myself but I've spoke to friends as well who are artists themselves and it's like something that we all go through where you have all these ideas in your mind, but then um, either you need to find the time. Um, sometimes, you know, you're working and you ain't got always the time to just draw. Um, but yet yeah, you want to be better. You want to do uh, what, you, what you love to do. This has been your hobby for however long you can remember. Because I remember with me, um, I remember starting drawing when I was uh, obviously uh, a kid. And back then things were so simple back then where, you know, you liked what you drew. Um, you liked the cartoons, you liked the comic books, you liked um, uh, this or that. And that's what dictated what you actually drew. You know, there was not much, there was not too much thinking or not too much worry or concern as to, oh, this is not looking right. Because you just enjoyed just doing it. And I suppose that's what I'm trying to mimic when I'm, uh, whenever I'm doing my work. Sometimes, you know, as you can see, sometimes in in these in this video, even though it's sped up, you can see how the amount of time I would redraw something over and over and over, and um, you know, forgetting that actually it's supposed to just be a quick rough storyboard just to show. Um, the action sequences, the camera angles, and how you're going to draw them, the the the, the final uh, frame, you know, or whether you know you can give it to an animator and they could animate it because there's enough information there. And sometimes I got carried away with, oh, but this doesn't look good, and you know, a lot of the drawings don't really look that good, you know, I'll be honest. But that wasn't really the point f to have stunning drawings. It was to get the the story across and um and you can imagine like with this story it's uh, the whole thing i think when i added up all the frames it's over over a thousand frames so you can't 